Hey, welcome back. I'm Martin Burgess. And I'm Dan Enriquez. And we're here to report more news and catch up on other news from 2022 that we still need to address and, and discuss. Exactly. This It's like Mariah Masterclass Month for us over here. So we got a lot to talk about. Um, but we also have, again, a big, big giveaway. So stay tuned for the code word so you can win because we have our first winner already. So congratulations to Steve Martin. He has already received his annual membership and he's already watching and learning. Absolutely. And now we all know that Mariah has her masterclass, but also on masterclass, there's tons of other videos you can watch. Have you been watching other people's videos? I have. I've been watching one about how to sleep properly. Oh, really? Yes. And one tip that uh, I think I knew, I knew this already, but you need to cool down your body. Is that right? Yes. Now, do they, what do, what do they mean sleep? Do they mean like how you position yourself sleeping? Just how you should be like, well, why it's important, et cetera, but also like tips on how to do it right. Oh, well, who knows? There's a strategy to sleeping. <laughs> well, there we have it. That's what Masterclass got you all covered. I was watching um, uh, a woman making bread, oh, sourdough yeah. bread. You need to Gr listen. You need to, a teacher to show you how to do it. it it's complicated. It is. It's, there's a lot of factors, but Did it's you learn? amazing. Did you learn? Well, I only watched like the first four episodes because she, honey, she's going through it all. The steps. There are a lot of steps. You know what else? Um, that we didn't even mention last week, but each class, when you sign up for Masterclass, it also has like a little pamphlet that goes along with it. Mariah has one as well. Oh, and photos and so you get things. Oh yes, and they break down everything for you yeah, yeah. and everything like that. Like, so this one woman who was teaching all about the, the bread, like her little booklet is like 800 pages long. Really? Yes, Mariah's is like 20 or 30 pages. <laughs> like this woman was like her bread. I mean, Hang on, now I need to get back into the masterclass because I haven't seen the booklet for Mariah. Oh, no, you have to look. They have all the pictures. They break down all her lessons. Oh, I didn't see that. Yes, honey, yes. See, it's all these little trinkets. Yeah, there's things. It really is like a class. That's why And you called, can take notes. <laughs> it's called masterclass. <laughs> Oh, you can take notes? Yes. They get you a little notepad right there. You type out your notes as you watch the, the lesson and everything like that. So it's really full of knowledge, like full of knowledge. Worth your money. It's definitely worth your money because I'm like, girl, how am I going to watch all of this? Like, I got to watch. all. It's going to take a year to watch it all. Now I'm so, thinking that would be a good gift. Oh, my God. It would be, right? Imagine, yeah. Girl. Anyway, enter the competition. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Listen for the code word coming up soon. And then um, just fill out the little form and boom, boom, boom. You're you're in it. Yeah. You're in it to win it. Also, the masterclass people, they're not playing with the password sharing. Oh, no, no. You cannot. I, I tried to finagle already. No finagling <laughs> <laughs> possible. Cannot. But believe me, it's definitely worth it because you're not only going to get Mariah, but you're going to get so many other things. There's so many classes you can learn from. So whatever you're into, it's there. And stay tuned because yeah, stay tuned because we're going to be recapping the uh, four or five episodes four, five, and six. Yes, after the break, mm -hmm. and and we're going to be talking about some brandy. You know, I love brandy. Your favorite, your, <laughs> yes, your I'm dream come you. true, girl. I'm telling you, Mariah and Oprah, Mariah and brandy. I'm done. I was thinking <laughs> this is my punishment for laughing at brandy, making fun of her. This is yes. She ended up on my favorite song. Exactly, <laughs> serves you right. <laughs> And we're going to talk about why Mariah wanted Brandy on that song too. So stay tuned for that after the splash break. But um, let's catch up on what has been going on. Again, we've been gone for a few months, but what's been going on with Mariah um, in the, at the in top the of the year here? Well, I think the big news is that we're finally officially going to get our Songwriter Hall of Fame moment that was delayed and delayed and delayed. Yes, absolutely. Coronavirus had delayed it. She's been inducted, but they haven't done a ceremony. So they're finally going to do it this summer. Mm -hmm. Top of the summer. So uh, I think June. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's going to be in June 16th. Yes, absolutely. She's she's being inducted with a lot of other great people as well. So it's going to be a fabulous moment. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, we're going to be stay tuned, stayed, staying tuned to that for that. <laughs> <laughs> and it's going to be in New York City. So I wonder if her apartment is finished the renovations. I know, right? Yeah. Do people even know that her apartment was being renovated? Because I think the roof was leaking. the The water tower had broken. Is that what happened? I think so. Recently. I mean, like, it, you, like maybe, like, I don't know. I just remember her talking about one time her, the you know, because she has, like, the water tower on the top of the roof. That's very New York City. Yeah. Yeah. And it was leaking. Really? You don't remember that? I, I remember, no, I remember a leak. <laughs> I, didn't, I thought it was a long time ago, though. <laughs> it could have been. It really could have been. Who knows? <laughs> maybe she has to fix the damage it caused. Well, yeah, probably. And But Mariah's also been down in Atlanta a lot. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, that's where the uh, Butterfly Lounge originated at. Well, in 
Uh, I was going about to get into it, but yeah, she mentioned she, she needs to be in a hot, humid con- uh, environment. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. what it's like down there. Is it swampy down there? Oh, I've yeah. never been. I think once you hit DC and down, it's just swampy, humid air. Oh, interesting. Mm-hmm. I wouldn't know. Over here in the nice, dry, dry as hell, California. <laughs> You got to stay moisturized over here. I'll tell you that. You got to moisturize it and your sunscreen. And hydrated. Yes. It's a full-time job. Um, But yeah, so Mariah's been down there in Atlanta. So she'll be back in New York very soon. So if you're in the area, you know, pop on by for Mariah's Songwriter Hall of Fame. Get yourself a table. It's just 50 grand. Oh, yeah. Easy breezy. (laughs) But you can bring your friends for that one. Yes, absolutely. But you know, it's it's about time that she's getting that because like we've seen with this masterclass, Mariah, legendary, and she's always writing the good songs. Mm-hmm. And when you watch the masterclass, you can see all of it because she mentions all the songs that she writes and stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, but another thing that we're going to talk about today in the masterclass is fantasy mm-hmm. and her using the samples. Yes. So fantasy is out there just on its own on the digital uh charts yeah okay this sort of goes under my theory you know how we had justice for glitter and then charm bracelet had a little moment these were the things that were out as a compact as a compact disc as a, as a physical item to buy uh in terms of music so now that it's in digital world i think people are rediscovering it re-listening to it re-enjoying it and so that's giving it another um boost of life yeah so it's out there people are loving it Mm -hmm. it's like a whole to a whole new generation a whole new genre of of people so it's great i think it just rose uh uh to number 12 on the digital hot the digital r&b charts yeah you know there's so many charts there's so many charts but it's digital it's digital that's the main thing yes yes (laughs) um and another thing to look out for coming up this week is um record vinyl record day that's coming out record yeah. store day record store day that's yes. what it is that's uh-huh. what it is we're supporting him yeah absolutely because you know everybody loves a vinyl nowadays vinyl i think vinyl is the biggest seller of music right now i think i heard that as well yeah so that's that's very good you know i've always loved mariah vinyl but i love it for different reasons for i love pics. it just for the photos <laughs> yeah. it could just be empty we wouldn't even know yeah i don't need the actual disc <laughs> yeah. like i'm the nothing never touch it never look at it i don't know how those things work yeah we just want a big square cardboard <laughs> picture of mariah <laughs> that folds <laughs> happy as a clam <laughs> uh so i want i want to get my uh number one and number one's album on the uh, record store day because you know there's a lot of um vinyl stores around here in los angeles oh they love vinyl around here they love mariah and they love fantasy just today uh my boxing studio where i go work out so when they when you finish up and you start doing the cool down and stretching they always just change the music to a slower jam mm-hmm. they've now added i know what you want to the playlist <gasps> I it's, didn't even have to ask. It's a vibe. They just did it. That's the vibe. Yeah, that's it. More beautiful. Speaking of I Know What You Want, you know how we keep saying that, you know, for the next big album, I Know What You Want was that transitional moment from Charm Bracelet to Emancipation. Mm-hmm. And so Big Lotto, Big Energy is sort of that moment again. Yes. Transitioning. We are in that moment uh-huh. of transitioning now. Into the big album, Big Mariah album. <laughs> exactly. This sort of like the precursor. Yeah. Or like the warm up. Yes. to like the new Mariah era. But let's talk about it real quick. So uh, Big Energy is doing really well. Mm-hmm. Now, uh, we still haven't gotten a video. And the we... song did drop one spot on the Hot 100. It did. But Mariah's still not credited. What do we think about that? It's tough. It's tough. <laughs> it's a tough one because I think there's a lot of like, you know, I guess you could say political or like contractual or record label things going on. Yeah. Um, or whatever. I don't know what, what does it, but I think that that's the version everyone's listening to that I know. The same, but also, also we just a Mariah fan. So <laughs> well, true, true, true. Because if it's not Mariah, well, I'm not listening to a girl. What do I got time to do that for? No well, man. you know, te- technically it's an over there project that we're on. Yeah, but we love it. No, we do love it. Yeah. But are we like in control of what happens? how no. it gets released and stuff no i think that's the thing like mariah like she did her part mm-hmm. she's doing her part to like sort of like help promote it a little bit yeah but that's all she can do like she basically put her part in and then handed it off to them so it's really like big lotto's uh record label that's doing all of it so we really don't have much of a say well okay here's the thing so big lotto tweeted that she's going to be performing at the billboard music awards mm-hmm. and now in her emoji sequencing she had her oh. traditional jackpot uh, 
what do you call that? Poker machine. Uh, Slime machine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ending with the butterfly. Is that code for she's doing the fantasy remix at the BMA, BB, what are they called? Billboard Music Awards. Music Awards, yeah. BBMs. BBMs. No, I, Billboard, don't get me into the BBMs Awards. or the BBDs <laughs> or the BDEs. BDEs. <laughs> LDEs. <laughs> That's too many BBs and Es and Ds. Too many. Um, but Do we think we're going get, to get a surprise uh, performance from Mariah? at the? Because she'll show up to a Billboard Award. She, she does love a billboard award. However, you know me, I'm always theorizing and coming up with some sort of concept. Mm. So I don't think Mariah would perform this song with Lotto. Why? Um, just because Mariah's busy, honey, and she probably ain't getting paid enough. You think? Y- yeah. However, this is going to roll into what we just received from Mariah uh, on the social medias that she was in the pool. Yes. Right? And she was giving us moments, fabulous moments, honey. Emerging from the pool with dry hair. Only Mariah. (laughs) Girl, that video, I watched it like 5,000 times because it is so good. Yeah. Like, that's what I want, right? But that was a moment because I did watch it. I didn't notice the hair at first, but walking down the street, I'm like, was her hair dry when it came out? (laughs) (laughs) So I had to go rewatch it. And I was like, yes, it is. No, I love it. I love it because it's like a reverse thing and blah, blah, blah. But but that's production. No, I love it. it. I loved everything about it. And I also, I knew that they were filming something. I knew that they were filming something because Mariah's, stylist had uh, posted some Instagram photos from where they were in ever wherever the tropics, wherever they are in the tropics. Um, and I saw in the background of one of his photos, like professional movie cameras or television cameras or recording cameras, whatever you want to call them. The HD camera. The HD cameras were there. Mm-hmm. And I was like, well, she has to be filming something like television quality. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. And then we got this little, you know, splashing around in the pool with the butterfly shoes. Uh-huh. Oh, my God. We got that moment. Yeah. And it looks very well HD. But I'm thinking, OK, you know how Mariah, she will put herself on a screen in the background. So I'm thinking if uh, Lotto does big, big energy featuring Mariah at the Billboard Music Awards. God, that was a mouthful. Yeah. <laughs> She will play a video of Mariah doing her vocals in the background on the the TV screen in the the, from the pool. Uh huh. I think that's what's going to happen. Okay. Okay. I think that's what we're down for. Gotcha. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay. Because that's what I'm loving. You know, like remember when Mariah did the VH1 Vogue Fashion Awards way back in the day? No, no, no. Uh, glitter era, glitter, glitter. Um, Oh, DJ saved my life. Yes. Uh huh. And in the background on the TV screen, she was running around in her little bikini. Yes. Like she just had, you know, she films things for the screen. B-roll. B-roll. Yeah. (laughs) There you go. Yeah. yeah. (laughs) So I think that's what she was filming uh, with that, that scene that we saw. I think that's B-roll for a television moment with Big Lotto. Okay. Good theory. Uh, Allegedly. Good theory. Good, right? Solid. Makes sense. Yes. She looks gorgeous. She looks great. Oh my God. The shoes, the legs. Mm -hmm. The toes are back. Uh, Toes are out. Honey. Yeah. Gorgeous. Again, the strappy, the strappy high heel is back. Yes. No need to walk. We don't need to be walking in them. No. Stand and pose. No, 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 no. Yeah. Gorgeous. Yeah. I love that little video. I really, still love really it. Good. Oh yeah, for sure. So I think that's how they're going to utilize it, but mm-hmm. that's just me. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But we'll see. Now, yeah. do we know what day those are coming? We should be on lookout. Keep an eye out. We'll keep an eye out. We have some time. Coming soon. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think they're just, they're just announcing performers now. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're still, you know, they have to like roll it all out. Um, Coachella just happened. Oh, right. As well. Was anything festive happening there? Mm, I didn't see anything great. No, no Mariah, no Beyonce. No. Standards. (laughs) I think Harry Styles performed. Yes. With Shania Twain. Oh, I didn't see that. She loves Mariah. She does. So we love her. A deep is live. (laughs) She's 1998. We're going back. We're going back. She's in the club. Yeah. So I guess, yeah, I don't know. I don't know anything about Coachella. Coachella? Coachella? (laughs) Um, Well, do we ever want Mariah to perform in something like that? Because it's a big deal. It is a big deal, and I don't know why. I don't know. It's an event (laughs) out here. 
that's what they do. Well, listen, we should, let's go back to the pool real quick. Because uh-huh. We missed a little tidbit of information that Mariah gave us last time she was in the pool. She's always in the pool now. Doing her live stream from the pool. Yes, yes. But something that caught the attention of people was that she mentioned she has new Pride merch coming out this year. Oh, right. Now, remember last year's Pride merch, we got all that really good glitter merch. Uh, what else did we get? Good, it was all glitter merch? It was glitter. There and was rainbow. that rainbow. Yeah. But I was, re- I mean, I love the rainbow shirt, got one, but like, um, I was down for the glitter merch. Yes. What do you think she's going to do this year? I don't know. She's going to f- switch it up somehow. Yeah. Because we know, like we said last week, that she has the fantasy merch already. Mm-hmm. So. Which, that can be multi-purpose pride merch. Why not? Uh, anytime. Yeah. Anytime. <laughs> yeah. We'll see what happens, but I'm looking forward to it because if she's on top of the merch, then it's good. It's just more, more rainbow merch. Yeah, but we already got the rainbow. I want more. Okay, but like what kind of rainbow? I don't know. You know, I do love that rainbow photo shoot though. I love iconic, it. Iconic, iconic. Iconic. When she's in the locker room with all the men. Oh, too much. Uh, scandalous for, for the day. Scandalous for the day. Yeah, remember scandalous. that? Scandalous. Yeah. Uh-huh. It was so good. I want to see outtakes from those photo shoots because I bet they would be amazing. I bet that on like... Real film. I, oh, for sure. They have to be digitized. Yeah. David LaChapelle, mm-hmm. 22, three years ago. Mm-hmm. For sure. Mm-hmm. Oh, my goodness. Those were great. So we'll see what she comes up with there. But yeah, look, some, well, more stuff to buy. Uh, you know, she's always coming for the wallets, honey. If it's not through Masterclass, it's through the merch, it's through the this, the vinyl this, the vinyl Irish. this. Oh, the Black Irish. Yeah. She's in all the stores. She's everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> But we love it and we are not complaining. Yeah. Um, but right. I think, yeah, let's take a quick break. And we'll be right back. We're going to talk about Masterclass and stay tuned for your chance to win an annual membership to Masterclass. Listen for the code word. Welcome back. Here we are. Let's get into it. So listen, it's been a week since we had the new version of The Roof come out and it's not on streaming or anything. So you do have to tune in to Masterclass, but I'm sure you can get a bootleg version. I mean, somewhere. allegedly, but do you, don't, you didn't hear that from us. But... <laughs> So I've been thinking about it as the week has progressed. Right. And, you know, I love the new version. Okay. Love the strings. Love the strings. And like Mariah said in one of these uh, Twitter spaces, like it is so much more lush with the strings. It does Mm -hmm. create more volume to the song. Yeah, for sure. However, I was listening to the original Mob Deep mix of the room. Uh So from Butterfly Era. And when it opens with the piano, that's still my favorite, those piano chords, because it sounds like it's starting to rain with the piano. And now we've set the scene. Look at you. See, so that's still my favorite. Not, now, you're not talking about the album version. You're talking about the Mob Deep mix? Well, both. Both, both. start that way. I, okay. See, in my mind, the Mob Deep mix is the song. Okay. The roof. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm going to have to go back and re-listen now, of course, because now I, ha- I have to like put my ear to what exactly you're saying. Because, I mean, I know the song, obviously, but... Right. Well, that's the homework for the week. Go listen to the original, okay? There you go. We are in the masterclass moment, yes. so <laughs> there's going to be some homework. And tell us what your favorite is, original roof versus the new one. Because I love the strings. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying it's bad or anything. Lo- and one, one... we love the brandy moments. Yeah, and we love the brandy moments. I definitely want to hear the string version of the roof live in concert. Oh, definitely. But I'm just saying the original is still my favorite. Okay. I mean, listen, the original is a classic. And I think even in the class, Mariah says um, this week, I think she even says that it's not about like, you know, uh, changing or, you know, uh, making something better than the original. It's just about an extension and just a new feeling for it. But it's the original is always the original. Mm -hmm. We cannot touch that. I mean, I remember when the music video for that first came out because that's the first time that I heard sort of like the remix version, you know, um, with the um, mix. yeah, exactly. And I was like, "This is what I'm what I'm talking about." That's my favorite version. That's mine too because yeah. watching the music video along with it, mm-hmm. oh my god, that music video was everything. All the butterfly music videos are. So what are we talking about? But yes, yes, I love that music video. It was so well done. People do not get enough credit to that music video. No. I- no, I know. I know. Oh. <laughs> you don't have to tell me. It's, I, I don't want to solidify this in stone, but it's up there with possible favorites. Oh, for sure. Definitely. Like up in the top two. 
I mean, definitely. Yeah. I think all my favorite videos are all the butterfly videos. So it's up mm -hmm. there. It just depends on what I'm vibing with, you know, in the moment, Yeah. in the moment, but I love it. I love it. And I'm going to have to go back and listen to the album version now, because I've just been listening to this brandy version The when I feel, wait, when I feel the need version parentheses. Yeah. When we, I feel the need, honey, it's so good. It's so good. Yeah. Um, all right, let's get into lesson number four. Okay. Here we go. Lesson number four is writing with samples. Mm -hmm. And we know that Mariah has been using samples a lot throughout, you know, her entire career. Yeah. Uh, and using samples has always been sort of something that's associated with a lot of hip hop music, because that's where it all sort of started from. Mm -hmm. You know, they would use a sample and then they'd like, you know, freestyle over it and build on it and build on it and like bring it into this new thing. And you know, Mariah grew up listening to that music. So her using samples is just like a natural thing. And she uses them so well. I think that is part of her geniusness mm -hmm. because she just has that melodic ear. Mm -hmm. And that's and in episode four, writing with samples, that's where she starts off with the fantasy song and use, using the genius of love sample. And she explains the whole backstory. Girl. About how it happened. I love it. Yeah. It's amazing. And it's just like, and she's like, oh, I'm, I was just in the car listening to this, uh, you know, genius of love. And I was like, oh, this is perfect. Yes. And that just shows you what Mariah is listening to on the radio. Because I wasn't listening to genius of love on the radio. You no, know, but yeah. Mariah was tuning in to the good stations. Yes. Back in the day, you had to tune to the radio station. <laughs> now, did she mention that story about, where were they at Coney Island or something? Her and her first ex-husband? No, no. Rye Playland. Rye Playland. Which is up in like Westchester. Okay. And it was on the radio. Genius of Love was on the radio. Mm -hmm. And did she tell that story in the book? Because I feel like the fantasy story was ODB centric. I think so. I remember way back in the day, Mariah on MTV talking about it. And she did say that she was in the car and she heard the sample and she had already had like a little bit of an idea of her fantasy, like some of the vocals or something. And then she heard the song Genius of Love and she started singing her own lyrics over it. Very hip hop style. That's what they did. And she was like, oh, this is it right here. Mm. So I remember her telling that story a long, long time ago as well. Okay. So it's, it's been through, you know. It's been out there for a while. Gotcha. So we love it. But I love her again, telling it. Tell me again. Tell me again. Tell me a million times. Yeah. I'm down for it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, again, just very interesting to see her thought process throughout the whole creative process. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then she also talks about the sample she uses for the roof, mm -hmm. which is the Mob Deep Shook Ones. Mm -hmm. Again, she was like, I'm, I was... It's like a whole documentation of the whole story in real life. She yes. was in the car listening to this song. And I'm like, this is what Mariah's listening to. Which I had no idea. Yeah, yeah. But at least what I love is that she does actually communicate her vision through the music. Because I think we were talking about it here on the Mariah Report um, back in the day when we did our Butterfly series. Like we said similar things, how it sounds very New York. It's very gritty. The sound, yes. like it does capture that New York vibe. Mm -hmm. And the masterclass people did capture that, get that footage of New York City back in the day that sort of captures, like gives you a visual of that grit. Yes, of the and city. you get it. And that's, and Mariah talks about that in, uh, specifically with working with the sample. Uh -huh. And she, she even breaks it down even more because again, like we just said, a lot of hip hop music was working off of a sample. Mm -hmm. And Mariah, when she was, you know, making the roof, she realized where that original sample comes from, which is a Herbie Hancock song called Jessica. Mm. So she was like, you know, because I, I guess they like slowed it down. And that is what Mariah was telling us, like added that grit, mm -hmm. that New York grind to it. And she was like, oh, I would have never known that that was how that they utilized that sample. And now look how it's grown throughout the decades mm -hmm. from Herbie Hancock to Mob Deep, to Mariah Carey, to Master Class. Also, other people have sampled the Mob Deep sample too. Oh, definitely. Yeah. Definitely. It's been out there. I mean, same thing with Genius of Love. Mm -hmm. I was um, uh, I was um, reading an article, actually, 
about the history of that sample and actually where the Tom Tom Club even comes from. And I learned a lot with that little article. I will we'll post it on our social medias. I actually, I think I already did when I did it, but when I read it, cause I was like, this is so interesting. It tells you like how that song came about, who made it and like this, that, and all the samples that it's been used in even before uh, Mariah and fantasy, it was used in many other songs. It's, so it's just so fascinating. It's a really particular sample. It's so it's kind of peculiar and it stands out when you yeah. hear it. Like, you know what it is when you hear it. But if you work well with it, like Mariah and Lotto has, yeah. you can bring it into a whole new area. It's a bop. Oh, you don't have to tell me. It creates bops. That <laughs> very, <sample>. very <laughs> much, very much. So, I mean, it's just interesting to hear Mariah and what her inspiration when using these samples is. Mm -hmm. It's really good. And then um, we're going to talk a little bit more when we get into um, the episodes with Brandy about how she takes those samples and even a Run DMC sample yeah. and turns it. I'm like, girl, she's giving me everything. I know, I know. Because <laughs> I, I never noticed that Run DMC sample. Me neither. Yeah. I mean, it's you You really have to tune into it. I mean, should we just go there? Go. Let's skip over to lesson five. Sure. Yes, yes. So lesson five, lesson sort of five and six is almost like a combo of her and Brandy together. Mm -hmm. And when I say vocals, honey, I mean vocals. Well, to be, uh-oh. It's that time. That's the moment. All right, guys, it's time for the giveaway. Again, number two. Here we are. Here for we your are. Chance to win. Don't forget, we're going to tell you the code word in a second. Enter in the description link. Uh, either on YouTube, on the video, or check the description link in your podcast app. And there's a form that you fill out, put in your name, your email. For our trans friends, you don't need to tell us your government name. Use your name. We don't need to know. Absolutely. And, Whatever name you want. Yeah, exactly. Uh, and then type in the code word. Vocals. Vocals. Uh, for your chance to win a one-year membership to masterclass and masterclass is not a sponsor of this sweepstake the masterclass annual membership may not be exchanged for cash credit or combined with any other offer the masterclass terms of use and privacy policy will apply absolutely so keep that in mind but go ahead click here and enter in and you will get your masterclass entry and we'll announce the winner this upcoming monday on monday so get in quick yes absolutely we are here and congratulations to Steve Martin. Did we say that yet? I think we did. You won last week. I hope we did. I don't know. <laughs> Just I hope in we case. did, but Just anyways. <laughs> last week winner was Steve Martin, uh, and he's been enjoying the annual membership already. Yes, yes. Uh, congratulations. Now, let's get into the Mariah and Brandy moments. Mm -hmm. Now, before I get into this, I, I want to know what you know about Brandy. Love the boy is mine. Oh, every, classic. Classic. Um, because was Brandy big? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry to put you on the spot, but like, was Brandy big in Australia? Brandy was popular, yeah, she like, definitely was. You saw her in like the Cinderella, Cinderella, yeah. Um, The Boy Is Mine, so like the Never Say Never album, yeah. Boy so, Is Mine was huge, I think number one for her. Oh, for sure. I mean, here it was number one as well. I think it was like maybe like 10, 11, 12, 13 weeks at number one, so it was a mm -hmm. long running number one. Mm -hmm. Um, but like, what else? What else? Tell uh, me more about Brandy. Gosh. No pressure. She was popular. I wasn't vibing with Brandy. I was always vibing with Brandy because I just loved it. I never purchased a Brandy CD or anything. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, see. What are some more hits that I would know? Uh, you would know. <laughs> well, from her first album, like, I love Best Friend. Uh, I want to be down. I want to be down. I want to be, be down. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Wanna Don't get down. me singing over here. Okay. Uh, what else would you know? Almost doesn't count. Almost doesn't count. It's a ballad. Mm, no, I you don't know that. <laughs> um, you, full Moon. Full Moon. You know, Full, full moon, moon has got the bops, honey. It got all the bops. Um, you know, I love her human. I love all her albums. Don't get me started. So I knew when Mariah announced that she was working with Brandy, that this was going to be amazing because I know what Brandy is capable of vocally. You know, I love the video of Brandy on the subway station on the now, train. You got a lot of nerve. You got a lot of nerve <laughs> doing my girl Brandy like that. <laughs> 
Listen, if you guys haven't seen it, please don't Google it. But no, I'm please. T- I'm going to tell y'all about <laughs> it. It's on, only because I love Brandy and it does not matter. It does not matter. So Brandy was in New York for- uh, She was ex- in Broadway, wasn't it? Yeah, she was on Broadway doing uh, Roxy Hart in Chicago, which I saw twice and I met Brandy twice outside. She was so sweet and so lovely. Um, and girl, I just- <laughs> It was like amazing, but she, you know, she would get on the train with everyone else and she would go to, you know, rehearsals and whatnot. And one day she was like, I'm just going to sing on the train because a lot of people sing on the train. Well, she was filming it to try and make it a viral moment. Yes. Well, that's what they have to do. Uh, I'm not mad at her. No, no but bad. here's the thing in New York, there are so many amazing vocalists and singers. Any corner you turn, they're there. And people are just singing on the train at and any random moment. Any moment you can have people on the train do, dancing, performing, performing, all of that kind yeah. of stuff. So Brandy was trying to have a vac- viral moment and she started singing on the train. But she was trying to be inc- incognito too. Remember, she had like a scarf. She was like, had the glasses. She was trying to hide, but perform. Yes. <laughs> and. It just turned out that not a single person cared that she was, and she sounded beautiful though. She did. (laughs) And nobody cared because the thing is these people on the train, they're going to work, honey. They're picking up their baby. They trying to get a gallon of milk from the store. They're doing things. They don't have time. (laughs) And then that man gave her tips. Oh my lord, poor Brandy. It was it did not go the way she wanted it to go, but that don't matter because she is talented, honey. She is talented. Okay. <laughs> I just love that video. It, it it is the moment, but she sounded great though, didn't she? She sounded fine. She you yeah. better leave my girl Brandy alone. Anyway, so- <laughs> I've been punished for laughing at her. Exactly because when you so so when you have Brandy on this this record, you know the roof. Uh, what do you think? It works perfectly, right? No, she's great. Like Mariah had it; she had the knowledge of Brandy's work and how Brandy's vocals work. So she brought her on this track, and it, I think it was perfect. Oh yeah, listen, I don't think I wasn't just sitting there going, "What's she doing here?" I was I was like, "Oh, come on in, Brandy." Yeah. And she was really sweet and humble about the whole situation. It wasn't the Brandy show. We barely spoke to her. Yeah. <laughs> Just said hi, get to singing. She's like, get in the booth, girl. Yeah. Get in the booth <laughs> and lay these tracks down. Uh-huh. You know, she was Mariah was also like, we're under the gun. So she's <laughs> like, girl, we're on a time schedule. <laughs> you got to get out of here. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it's all in fun. It's all in fun. But Brandy did it, and she went in the, that vo- vocal booth, Mariah's butterfly vocal booth, and she did it, and she was perfection Mm -hmm. I loved it Mm -hmm. and she was able to mimic a lot of these these episodes about the background vocals is about Mariah teaching the background parts Mm -hmm. and Brandy's able to perfectly mimic exactly what Mariah's doing Mm -hmm. you know after going back and forth like once or twice Brandy got it Mm -hmm. and she can get in that booth and lay it yeah you know Mm -hmm. But and it also that, shows you how, like how delicate and intricate the background vocals are. Oh my gosh, think, yes. Because you remember um, in Glitter when Silk was like, oh, they're just back up, like they don't matter. Well, she said that, they don't matter, yeah, they're just they back don't, up. <laughs> but they do matter. The background vocals are important. Yes, exactly. So even outside of Brandy, Mariah goes into, you know, how much she loves background vocals and she loves layering and stacking and doubling. Mm-hmm. So we learn all about that process, yeah. which is fascinating. I know. Uh, if you read Mariah's memoir, obviously, uh, most of you all have, she talks about, you know, uh, getting her foot in the door in the music industry through doing background vocals. Yeah, but I think that's a standard practice for any career that you start at the bottom and work your way up and through for sure because that's how you learn sort of the basics of how to record Mm -hmm. how to make you know a full song Mm -hmm. but also how to um utilize your vocals it to match right you know and she she brings up some classic artists like Shaka Khan, Luther Vandross, mm-hmm. and even Sissy Houston, mm-hmm. and how they did their backup vocals and how Mariah was like inspired by them. Mm-hmm. And a lot of people don't even pay attention to background vocals. Well, think about it. Yeah, mm-hmm. I think we as lambs do, but that's only because we know Mariah. Right, yeah. Really interesting, great insight. Very, very much, Yeah. very much so. Well, you know, there's always conversations about favorite background vocals like the we belong together background vocals the roof background the roof background vocals are so good i sometimes i don't know if it's a background or the lead vocal it could be because they are yeah. blended so beautifully right, right? yeah um because some of these ones in the lessons i was like oh that's a background vocal <laughs> i know right yeah. <laughs> 
I thought that was the main song. No, no, background vocal. Uh -huh. Background vocal. <laughs> <laughs> but she talks, like, there's one particular moment when she's talking with Brandy and she's like, well, I did the lead vocal like this. And then the background vocal goes like this. Mm -hmm. And then she's like, oh, you go like this with it. I don't know what, but you go like this. Right. And then Brandy did that same thing. And she's like, yes, that's how you do it. That's how you do it. But she also wanted Brandy to sort of do her own vocal runs. Mm -hmm and her trills because mm -hmm. Brandy is very well known for that. Mm. So Mariah also opened up for her to like put her own little stamp on it. And it worked perfectly, mm -hmm. perfectly. Mm -hmm. Remember Mariah, Mariah was background vocals on Babyface's song? <sighs> Perfection. Yeah. That is one of my favorite songs. Yeah, really good. It's so beautiful. Um, I mean, her and Babyface always, every time I, I close, close my, my eyes, eyes. Every time I close my eyes. Yeah. Oh my God, it's so beautiful. And Kenny G is on there. Yes. Again, was he played the flute? The sax. saxophone? Yeah. So, girl, anytime. Oh, I love that song. I do love that song. But Mariah's just backup. I know. And it's so perfect that, again, because she's so smart at background vocals, like she adds that depth to the song mm -hmm. that it really needs. I can't imagine it without her. Well, similar to Brandy coming in, like you come in and then, okay, Brandy, you be Brandy as well. Right, exactly. Put your thing on it. And you know, there was a, there was a moment, there's a couple moments where she's sitting with Brandy in the Butterfly Lounge that I, I really loved. One was when Mariah's like, they're going, like Brandy has the lyrics and they're going through like the background lyrics and whatnot. And at one point they're listening just to Mariah's, you know, album version. And Brandy's looking at the sheet and she like looks at Mariah out the corner of her eye. And she's like, I cannot believe that this is what is like, that you made this. Yeah. And like you did all of these background layers and everything. And mm -hmm. Brandy's like in awe. She's yeah. like, girl, no girl, this is brilliant. That's like what her face says. She doesn't say anything, but it's just like that little acknowledgement of brilliance. In that moment, do you think we're hearing what Brandy's hearing? Or do you think Brandy and Mariah are hearing actual isolated vocals that we've never heard before? Because I want to hear those. Oh, that's a good question. I want to hear whatever they're hearing. I would say it's probably similar to what we were hearing. I don't think they like went way off, but maybe they used, maybe they overdubbed it with the actual track. Mm. And they're probably listening to, like you said, isolated vocals. Still, either way, Brandy was in awe. And you could tell. Mm -hmm. And you could tell. I wonder if Brandy had ever really sat down and listened to him. I would hope so. I would hope so. Can we also talk about the time frame really quickly before I get to my number two favorite moment with Mariah and Brandy? Okay. Because I think this was done over the summer. Even though there's Christmas trees. Last summer? Yeah. Because. 2021. 2021, yes. Because Mariah tweeted, remember when she tweeted Brandy? And she said something like, Brandy, call me. I, I need you to get on these, these backgrounds. Yes. Yes, right? Yes. And I was like, and that was in May. Ah. So I think this was around like probably early summertime. And then we're just seeing it now. But they, I think, and also. Okay, I, well, I want to back you up because okay. we know. Mariah's working on the Christmas special and we know that has to get made early in the year. So I'm sure trees were up to get, you know, in the vibe. Mm -hmm. And they had to film that music video for uh, fall in love at Christmas. Yeah. Yeah. And all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. So again, their, their schedule and their timeline of things is totally different than the seasons that we go through. Right. <laughs> uh, but that's just, that's what you do for television and stuff like that. So this was a while ago, but also there's another little part where Mariah says, uh, and I think it was in the episodes we reviewed last week, where she's like, her and Daniel Moore had sat down to sort of reinterpret the song, The Roof. Mm. And I feel like they did that before Masterclass became involved. You think? I Only because for some reason, I feel like Mariah is going to do something special for Butterfly 25 anniversary. That's a word on the street. Yeah. That she's doing so I something. Think, I think she might be doing a lot of butterfly moments for us. And that's maybe why her and Daniel had sat down to sort of like do something with songs from Butterfly. Well, you know, she has said that when she was recording Butterfly, that whole period of her life was just chaos. She's divorcing. Now she's at Sony. The ex-husband's running the company. And some of the songs were not finished. Right. So I wonder if she's going back in and just kind of polishing it up. 
Yeah. Or just like, even just doing this, like adding like real live streams, Mm -hmm. stuff like that, Mm -hmm. little things or like, you know, having new people come in and do like a background moment, Mm -hmm. anything. I want to see it all reimagined and and brought into a new scope, you know, 25 years later. I think that would be amazing. Definitely the roof. Yeah. I mean, a lot of these potential. She could redo a lot of these. I don't know. Do you want to, do we want to touch my all, my all? I don't know, but it was just the, like the anniversary of the release of my all, I think 24 years since the single dropped. Really? The video. Gorgeous. What's she going to do to Honey? Honey's good the way it is. I mean, listen, we know the Butterfly album is perfect the way it is, but it's just for fun and just for, you know, just for laughs, something. I'll take a reimagined no, no, take, entire album. No, no, I want it reimagined. Yeah, for sure. Yes. It's just interesting to see how she would go about doing that. But you know, the, the masterful Mariah, she'll do it. But you think she's, she's working on that? I think there might be something. I think, because uh, 25 will be, what, six months from now? Not even. Really? I think so. September. Oh, my God. September 17th. It's been five years since we did that saga, Butterfly, Butterfly series? I think four years. Because I think we did it on 21. I think or 20. 20. Girl, this, We've been doing this, too this long. pandemic yeah. has really <laughs> thrown my whole... Uh, timeline off. I don't know. But yes, we've been doing this for like six years. Jeez. I don't know. Almost seven. seven. Almost seven. Poor Mariah. I know. Poor girl. She has to listen to us every week. (laughs) She probably turns us right off. Um, But we are going to have to wrap it up. But before we go, I want to talk one more Brandy Mariah moment. Um, And that is when Brandy calls. They're going back and forth with their vocals. And then Mariah calls Brandy the air queen. Mm-hmm. And I love it because Brandy has so much air in her vocals. It's so light and it's so like it, she just, the way she does it just is able to match Mariah's airiness. Mm-hmm. And that is what makes it all magical. So I love that moment too. Cause I was like, yes, Mariah so you, knows. You must've been living, getting a double two for one deal with the masterclass. <laughs> and I've been listening to this song <laughs> nonstop. Now I have to listen to it from, you know, the computer and, you know, you can't like digitally download it. But yeah. I think sh- by the time Butterfly 25 anniversary rolls around, I think it will be on streaming. I think uh-huh. masterclass just probably has it, you know, licensed for this specific amount of time to be exclusive to them. I'm sure it's in the contract, yeah. you know, for sure. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. So I think eventually we will get it uh, on streaming. So We'll look forward to that. Very exciting. But I think that wraps up this week's Mariah Masterclass Moment. Yes. <laughs> Don't forget, if you have not done so yet, please hit follow on your favorite podcast app. And if you're watching us on YouTube, please hit the subscribe button somewhere. Yes. That helps the show grow and also helps other people find us and join into the fun of this mess. Absolutely. We love it. And also, if you want to help support the show, you can go to patreon.com slash the Mariah Report and follow us there for $5 a month. Yes, supports this show, pays mm-hmm. the bills, helps Absolutely. pays the bills. Also, you get more content. We have the after show and the links are in the description. Just click it and go have, just go have a look. You know, all that fun stuff. If you want more Mariah chit chat. No contract, cancel anytime. Absolutely. We keep it easy, simple. We'll take it. Beautiful. Yeah. Um, but that wraps it up this week. We'll be back next week with another big, big giveaway. Again, remember this week's password is vocals. Or the code word. Code word, same thing. <laughs> Click the link in the description for your chance to win. And we'll see you guys soon. Bye.